Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Banner Hills Golf Club. My name is Matthew Pryke and this morning we're on the 17th hole. We're going to be discussing a little bit about how course management and understanding course strategy can improve your overall score on a hole. So the 17th hole behind me here is a par 4, it's downhill, it's a slight dog leg to the left with all the trouble on the left hand side. So for me, with my drive, it's essential that I hit my drive up the right hand side of the hole. Now I know that to the right of the hole there's a few bunkers and really far right is wasteland. So when I hit this driver now, my objective is to hit it on the right side of the fairway. So I'll do that now. Okay, so that's just going to be, that's going to end up just on the right hand side of the fairway. It's going to leave me a much easier shot for my second shot. Okay, so after my drive, I found the right-hand side of the fairway, perfect position to get into the pin. So now what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the, the areas around the green which I can miss and cannot miss. So I've looked at the green, there's bunkers short left and back left, there's one lonely bunker on the right, and there's a stream in front of the green. So I know that the safest place that I can miss is on the right-hand side of the green. Also, I've seen that the green will slope from back right to front left, so if I do miss right, there's a chance that it might roll back in. So that's what I'm looking at now. Don't be too aggressive with the pin, just if you're going to miss, miss to the right. That's what I'll try now. Okay, it's a little bit short. I haven't gone into the trap, but I have missed slightly short left of the green. Okay, so we'll wander on up, pitch it nice and close and get the part. Okay, so third shot. Now in a, I'm in a position here which isn't too bad. I've got an uphill chip shot. I've got plenty of green to work with. So it brings me back to my first tuitional video which talked about club selection, how much roll, how much carry uh, with, with each individual club. So from here, the seven iron is possibly a little bit too low as I, had, I need to go over the top of this slightly longer grass. So I'm gonna go for a pitching wedge. Now, if you remember, a pitching wedge, 50% carry, 50% roll. Okay, so that's just a nice pitch up there. It's about two or three feet from the, from the hole. It's given me a good opportunity to hold the par. Okay, so I've left myself quite a nice little putt uphill for par. It's slightly uphill, a little bit right to left. Okay, so there it is. You know, I'm quite happy with the par there, as this, this is quite a difficult hole, it's quite long, there's lots of hazards, there's lots of danger areas. So walking off with the par is great. If it's a bogey, I probably wouldn't have been too, too disheartened about that. So what we've just discussed today is a little bit about how to structure a hole, how to position your tee shot away from the danger areas. You're trying to avoid the areas in which you can potentially lose golf balls, get into bunkers, and essentially make too much of a high score. So that's one thing to remember, even on the drive, second shot, chip shot, try and eliminate all of the danger areas. Don't be too aggressive for the, for the second shot towards the hole. If you're over water, if there's many bunkers that come into play, just play it safe. Get two putts and then get the best possible score that way. So there it is for this week. My name is Matthew Brake. You'll find me here at Banner Hills Golf Academy. Please don't forget to follow us on all the social media channels for the latest news, information and promotions. So thanks again very much for watching. We'll see you next week. Thank you.